Hello everyone, and welcome to Tech Upskill Channel. In today's video, we're diving into a hot topic, the recent release of Windows 11 24 H2. While many users have eagerly upgraded, there are significant concerns regarding stability and performance, particularly the frequent blue screen of death errors reported by gamers and those using newer Intel CPUs. In this video, we'll explore these issues in detail, discussing the potential pitfalls and the overall performance of this version. Plus, we'll share the latest fixes to do time, so stick around until the end, and now let's get started. Let's start with the speed debate. Many users are claiming that Windows 11 24 H2 is the fastest version yet, and I have to agree. However, there's a significant number of voices cautioning against the upgrade, due to reports of frequent blue screen of death errors. This is particularly concerning for gamers and users with newer Intel CPUs, specifically the 12th generation and above. Microsoft has recently acknowledged these issues, especially for games utilizing kernel-level anti-cheat software. Popular titles like Call of Duty, Apex Legends, Fortnite, and Destiny have been known to crash with blue screens after upgrading. This is due to specific scenarios where games stop responding, triggering memory management errors. It's crucial to consider these factors before deciding to upgrade. Now let's talk about Microsoft's response to these issues. They are actively working on fixes for the 24H2 update, and have even paused the rollout for certain users to prevent further complications. If you enjoy gaming or are using a newer Intel CPU, my recommendation is to hold off on upgrading until Microsoft addresses these bugs. In addition to the blue screen problems, many users have encountered additional bugs, particularly in the settings section. Power management features and other navigations are reportedly experiencing issues, making the user experience frustrating. So if you're already using the update, you might want to keep an eye out for those glitches. If you've already upgraded to Windows 11 24 H2 and are facing issues, you might want to roll back to the previous version. Fortunately, this can be done easily. Simply right-click on the Windows icon, select Settings, and navigate to Windows Update. From there, click on Update History. Then look for Uninstall Updates under Related Settings. You'll see the latest Windows 11 24 H2 update listed, where you can select Uninstall. Confirm your choice. Restart your computer. And your system will revert back to the earlier version. In some cases, users may find themselves automatically directed to the recovery options after experiencing multiple crashes. If this happens, choose Troubleshoot, then go to Advanced Options. From there, select Uninstall Updates to roll back the feature update. Keep in mind that the recovery process might not be as straightforward as rolling back the update directly, especially if you encounter additional errors along the way. It's essential to be cautious during this process to ensure you can restore your system to a stable state. In summary, while Windows 11 24 H2 presents some enticing benefits, such as improved speed, it's essential to weigh these against the potential pitfalls, especially if you're a gamer or use newer Intel hardware. It's wise to wait for Microsoft to resolve these issues before making the upgrade. If you've already upgraded and are facing problems, don't hesitate to roll back to a more stable version until everything is fixed. I hope you found the video helpful. Please make sure to like and subscribe. As always, Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.